Hey, Rich Lucas, Breaking Bad News, Personal Training. We're really going to scuff these hounds today, okay, with a really fast and strong circuit, okay? So we're going to incorporate two exercises. This is what's known as a superset when you hit one muscle, then you immediately hit the opposing muscle after with little or no rest, okay? So we're going to use the bench, or we're going to use dumbbells. We're really going to scuff these arms today, okay? So we're going to start off with a bicep curl. Okay, when you do this, okay, keep your elbows fixed in place, okay? Keep your arms straight all the way up, squeeze the arms to the, the last minute and just bang about one. Always be in control of the weight. Keep it going. Squeeze these arms. Okay, and we get to about 15. Weight straight back down, straight onto the bench. Legs out, bice and straight tricep dips. Nice and quick, bending these arms. Once you're done, straight up, pick up the, the dumbbells, straight back in the curls. Push them out, four, five, weight stand, straight back in the tricep dips. So, what you can do, 15 bicep curls, 15 tricep dips, repeat, repeat again. This ensures that your workout is intense, and that's what you need. If you want success in fitness, you have to make sure that your workouts are intense. That concludes Superset Workout for Arms. Great. Hi, Rich Lucas, Breaking Boundaries Personal Training. Today we're going to work the legs, we're going to work the quads, the glutes and the hamstrings. Again, okay? your calves are going to get a little bit of a workout as well. We're going to go through three exercises. We're going to do the deadlift, the squats and the lunge. Okay? Squats and deadlifts are pretty much the best exercise you can do from a point of view of fat burning, muscle building, and they tend to have an all over body effect. When you tie them all together, you increase that muscular endurance as well. Brilliant workout for the legs. So we're going to go through the deadlift first of all. Really important thing to, with the deadlift is to get it right to make sure your core is braced at all times, to make sure your back straight at all times. Everyone, even me, makes mistakes on this face, and we're going to try and keep this back nice and straight. So, First thing we do is the same thing as always, we keep our, our legs fixed and forward, your back up straight. Okay, you stand as close to the, the, the bar as you can and you're going to drive into the floor with your heels, not your toes. Now from there, we're going to make sure we're in neutral spine, so if you push it too far that way, it's going to be too curved in the wrong way. This way again, your back's curved, so we want to find a bit in the middle where we're quite comfortable. Okay, so when we're ready, we're going to lean down, keeping this back really straight, driving in with your heels, okay, keep your chest facing forward. And we lift, straight up, back straight, back down, and up, down, just past your knees, and up, keeping your stomach really squeezed in. This is the deadlift. Okay, we just go one more. Good stuff. Okay, so the next movement we're going to go for is the squat. Again, I'm going to do the side on so you can see what we're doing. We're going to first of all roll it up onto our chest, over our head and onto our back, okay? Don't rest it on the top of your spine, you want to rest it on your shoulder blades and just take a, a little bit of a wider grip. So our feet are facing forward. Now in a nice slow motion, we're going to sit backwards to about just below 90 degrees and then up. Same thing again, driving in with those heels. Okay, flexing at the hip and down. Okay, from a frontal view, you're going to flex at the hip. So, the main mistake that people do on the squat is this. They kind of go up on their toes, which is a really bad idea. That puts a lot of strain on the knee. You flex backward at the hip first, and sit back. And then use that muscle to push back up. So, from the front shot, flexing out, and down. And back up. Once you've finished, over your head, roll down. Now the last move we're going to do is a lunge. Okay, you can do this with a bar or you can use it with a dumbbell. We're going to do it with a bar. So we're going to roll up onto the back of your neck, get your stance right. So when you do a lunge, you step out, you lower down and back up. Keep your stomach inside, lower down, back up. Lower down, back up. You can do alternative legs or you can do double legs. So, there are the three techniques. We're now going to go through, I'm only going to do five repetitions. I'll time myself out. We're going to go through the squat, the deadlift, and the lunge. So, let's start with the deadlift. So, I'll wipe, let's go too far. Keep 
going to try from there. We're going to take it up onto my shoulder. One more. And that's five. Now from there, step forward. Always keep on the lunge. Equal amounts of repetitions on each leg. And from there, over that head, keep your back straight, place it down, and that concludes tricep for legs. Hey, hey Rich Lucas from Breaking Boundaries Personal Training. What we're going to take you through today is we're going to take you through some stretches before the workout. Whenever you work out, make sure you warm up with some basic cardio master or light body weight training for three to five minutes and then perform these stretches. So, for example, you might come to the gym, jump on the bike for three to five minutes, come out and do these stretches. Okay, so, we're going to start off with our posture. We're going to make sure we're in neutral spines. We're going to push our hips forward, push them back from the side. That's pushing them forward and back and just getting them into a neutral position. So the first thing, we're going to look to the side. We're going to hold these stretches between 8 and 10 seconds. And then we're going to look back to the left. Okay, we're going to take our head back to centre, take our chin down to our chest. And look at 45 degrees and just hold. Never take your head too far back, it can infect on the spine. Okay, we're then going to take our hands in front of us and pull our shoulder blades apart. As so, pulling the stomach in at all times, and then the hands go on the small of the back and you push your shoulder blades together as much as you can. Okay, next position we take our arm across the chest and hold, and arm down the back, push in and just touch the top of your spine, keeping your head up straight at all times. And change arms, and down the back. Again, I'm going through these because you don't really want to see me stretching for all amounts of time, just so you get the general idea. Next movement, we're going to bend the legs very slightly, we're going to lean over to the left, keeping up straight. You don't want to lean forward or lean back too much, you want to keep up straight. And change position. Okay, now, right, we'll do some mobility stretching, we roll our shoulders forward. Let's get your shoulders and joints nice and flexible, and backwards. Okay, circle the wrists. If you've got bad wrists or anything, take this very carefully. Make sure you do them in both directions. Okay, onto the legs. We're working to the hamstrings now. So feet facing forward, you're going to step out. One leg's going to be straight, knees going to be together, one leg's going to be bent. Hands on the bent leg and lift the foot. You'll feel the stretch come up your hamstring. Okay, hands up and change legs. Uh, next movement, we're going to step out to the side and stretch out your abductors, side of the legs. Make sure your foot is in right about so your knees pushing against the joint. Always turn your toe up 45 degrees so you can feel that stretch. And change legs. Okay. The next move, we're going to, we're going to use the use of a wall. Hands on the wall, a lot of people can't do it without this, but for safety reasons, always have your hand on the wall. Keeping your knees together, your back up straight. We're going to take one leg up and hold. Stretching off the quads. Once you finish, 8 to 10 seconds, we're going to change and do the other leg. Keeping your back up straight, core in tight. Okay, and then finally for the next movement, we stretch off the calves. Pushing the heel into the floor, back straight, and hold. And change legs. And relax. So for basic preparation stretches, you should hold each stretch for 8 to 10 seconds. If you're looking to increase your flexibility, there's many other stretches you can do. This would need to be held for 30, between 30 and 60 seconds. So that covers the basic preparation stretches.